Hi everyone, let's start part 10 and the topic is I think this one breaking systems so we got 59 questions okay let's start where can an endurance brake retarder be especially useful as a way to reduce gear changes while driving down long hills when driving on steep cambers to improve fuel consumption mm, endurance brake I think driving down long hills what should anti lock brakes let you do when you have to stop in an emergency maintain steering control stop over a long distance brake much later brake more gently steering maintain steering control you are driving an articulated lorry that has three airlines connected to the trailer what's the purpose of the red line it's the auxiliary line, it's the emergency line, it's the electrical line, it's the service line. So red line, it's the electrical line. Wrong. Correct answer is it's the emergency line. Okay. Which component will last longer when you use a retarder? the exhaust system the catalytic converter the transmission the brake linings mm, the brake linings when are exhaust brakes most efficient at high engine speed while in low gears during stop start town park at low engine speed while in high gears while traveling at a constant speed on a motorway at low engine speed while in high gears at high engine speed while in low gears What should you do when an air pressure warning device activates? Continue to drive the vehicle, pump the brake pedal repeatedly, stop and have the fault put right. Yes. You are about to drive a vehicle fitted with hydraulic brakes. What should you check before driving the vehicle? The hydraulic brake fluid level the windscreen washer fluid level, the cooling system fluid level, the power steering fluid level. So, first one. Air brake systems usually have two lines. Which additional line is fitted on a three line system? So, auxiliary, yes. Your vehicle is fitted with hydraulic brakes. Why might the brake pedal go down too far when it's pressed? There's too much fluid in the braking system. The vacuum exhauster isn't working. There isn't enough fluid in the braking system. The pedal travel requires adjustment. So the vacuum, the, there isn't enough fluid in the braking system. Too much fluid in the braking system. Pedal travel requires adjustment. Third. 
you are driving you are driving a tractor unit fitted with two airlines you want to uh, couple to a trailer that has three airline couplings how should the airlines be connected only the auxiliary line should be connected only the service line should be connected the trailer auxiliary line should be left unconnected third you are stationary the brake air pressure warning light comes on why should you keep the parking brake on because it will cause the air pressure to rise because the vehicle will suddenly roll backwards because the service brake may not stop you third your vehicle has anti-lock brakes how does this affect you when you are braking normally? You will need to brake more firmly. You will be able to brake much later. There is no need to alter the way you brake. There is no need to brake so early. More firmly. Wrong. So correct answer is there is no need to alter the way you brake. Your vehicle is fitted with an anti-lock braking system. When should you check that it's working properly? Before each service, at the start of each working day, before every journey, at the start of each working week. Before every journey. Your lorry is equipped with anti-lock brakes. What's the correct procedure for stopping in an emergency? Apply the foot brake firmly in a pumping action until the vehicle has stopped. Apply the foot brake firmly and continuously until the vehicle has stopped. Apply the hand brake only. Apply the foot brake and hand brake until the vehicle has stopped. First, wrong. Apply the foot brake firmly and continuously until the vehicle has stopped okay your vehicle is fitted with air assisted hydraulic brakes what what would warn you that there isn't enough air in the system the exhaust brake won't work the, an increasing pressure on the air gauge a buzzer or light brake fade Mm, brake fade wrong a buzzer or light okay so brake fade is a loss of effectiveness of the brakes when they overheat when would brake fade be most likely to happen on a long journey on a long uphill gradient on a long downhill gradient yes you are driving down a snow covered hill why would you take care when using an independent endurance brake compressed air could escape the driver wheel could lock your brake could overheat your speed could increase your brake could overheat The driver, the drive wheels could lock. Your vehicle is fitted with air brakes. What does it mean if a brake warning light shows when you have just started the engine? The parking brake isn't working, low air pressure, the air reservoirs are fully charged, increased air pressure. Parking brake isn't working. Wrong. Low air pressure. What should you do when driving a large vehicle down a steep hill? Select the vehicle's highest gear. Partly apply the parking brake. <coughs> Use the endurance brake. Put the gear level into neutral. Use the endurance brake. What should you do if the brake air pressure warning light comes on? 
while you are driving. Report the fault when you return to your depot stop and get help without delay. You have just started the engine. What must you do if the brake air pressure warning light is showing? So Switch your engine off, engage the clutch, keep the parking brake on, report it as a fault. So keep the parking brake on. What system is used to control a vehicle speed without using the foot brake? An endurance brake, retarder. Your vehicle is fully loaded. Where should you be braking when dealing with bends? When halfway around the bend, when driving in a straight line? As you start to turn the wheel as close to the bend as possible. When driving in a straight line. What color is the auxiliary line on a three line braking system? So green no blue you are driving a vehicle fitted with anti-lock brakes what should you do when braking in an emergency apply minimum force to the brake pedal pump the brake pedal harshly use the exhaust brake before the foot brake apply from continuous pressure to the brake pedal what which colored band on the rev counter makes the best use of engine braking so green no blue okay you are driving down a long hill what should you what should you use to prevent the brakes from overheating so endurance brake you have to drive onto a muddy building side. Why should you switch on your diff lock? To make the wheels less likely to spin, to increase your engine, to increase your engine power, to make your steering lighter, to improve your fuel consumption first. What could prevent air pressure from building up in an air brake system in frosty weather? The dampness may cause valves to rust. Moisture drawn in with the air may freeze and cause a blockage. Second. The emergency line is common to both two-line and three-line brake system. What color is it? Emergency line red. Your vehicle is fitted with air assisted hydraulic brakes. What fault would you suspect if the brake pedal becomes hard to press? The brake linings are worn. The brake system requires more fluid. The brake should need adjusting. The brake system has a loss of vacuum. Second, no. Okay. The brake system has a loss of vacuum. You are driving an articulated lorry. What could happen if you change to a lower gear while you are going too fast? The vehicle could jackknife. The engine could stall. The brakes could fail. The trailer could uncouple. The engine could stall. The vehicle could jackknife. Okay, the vehicle could jackknife. What can cause thing downhill seriously affect? The tachograph, the cooling system, the air brakes, the electrical system, the air brakes. Your lorry is stuck in snow. You use the diff lock to move off. When should you switch the diff lock off? As soon as the snow has cleared, as soon as the vehicle is moving, once the engine has warmed up, only after selecting top gear, as soon as the vehicle is moving.
as soon as the snow has cleared okay as soon as the vehicle is moving where must extra care be taken when using an endurance brake retarder uh, on uphill on uneven roads on slippery roads on downhill gradients yes okay so on slippery roads okay your tractor unit has three airlines you are connecting to a trailer that has two airline couplings what color is the line you shouldn't connect to the trailer blue you are about to drive a vehicle fitted with air assisted hydraulic brakes why might the brake pedal feel hard when you press it the brake fluid reservoir is empty the pedal movement needs adjusting the brakes are locked on fully the vacuum pump isn't working where would you see an escape lane outside a fire station down a steep hill before a motor exit alongside a bus lane so down a steep hill how can you help to prevent brake fade repeatedly pump the brake pedal use the endurance brake apply the parking brake select neutral for a short distance so use the endurance brake what will pumping the brake pedal in a vehicle fitted with anti-lock brakes cause increased effectiveness reduce brake wear reduce effectiveness increase brake wear reduce brake wear reduce effectiveness okay in frosty weather what precaution could a lorry driver take to prevent moisture from freezing in the air brake system Cover the air tanks with a blanket, keep the engine at high revs when starting, drain the air tanks daily, yes. When is an articulated vehicle most at risk of jackknifing? While it's under heavy braking, when it's fitted with an endurance brake, when it's fully loaded, when it's maneuvering slowly, heavy braking when does brake feed occur when the brakes get too dry when the brakes get too cold when the brakes get too hot what's the principal braking system on a lorry called endurance brake no braking system on a lorry called the service brake okay your vehicle is fitted with an anti-lock braking system what's it designed to allow you to do stop safely in an emergency drive at faster speed brake much later than normal apply the brakes more quickly stop safely in an emergency what should you do after driving through a flood Carry your emergency stop and avoid braking until the brakes have dried out. Drive in a low gear with the foot brake lightly applied. Pump the foot brake when approaching hazard. Hmm. Carry out an emergency stop. Drive in a low gear with the foot brake lightly applied. Pump the foot brake. So avoid braking until the brakes have dried out. Now drive in a low gear with the foot brake lightly applied. Okay. How can a lorry driver avoid brake feed? Ensure that the air tanks are drained before journeys. Select an appropriate gear before downhill gradients. Check that the air pressure is correct. Make sure that the parking brake is applied before stopping. Air pressure is correct. Appropriate gear before downhill gradient. So 
second when is trailer swing most likely to occur on lorry and drawbar combination while you are moving off at an angle while you are steering at slow speed and fully loaded while you are braking on a bend your vehicle is fitted with an air assisted hydraulic braking system what would warn you that the vacuum pump isn't working the brake pedal travels a long way the brake pedal has little resistance the brake pedal feels hard when pressed yes what should you avoid when using an independent endurance brake on slippery road anti skid road surfaces the front wheel spinning brake pad wear the drive wheels locking what causes brake fade continuous use of the brakes badly worn brake pads repeated pumping of the brakes loss of air pressure in the system okay how will anti lock brakes improve your vehicle's safety they help you keep steering control while braking heavily they allow you to follow the vehicles more closely they enable you to brake later than normal they let you drive fast on wet roads what's brake fade smooth progressive braking low hydraulic brake fluid level reduction of air pressure reduction of braking effectiveness when should an endurance brake be used on motorways only when you stop or park on long downhill slopes when braking quickly on long downhill slopes your vehicle is fitted with a diff lock when would you normally use it while driving on muddy construction sites yes you are about to drive an unfamiliar vehicle what should you do if you think there may be moisture in the air brake reservoir nothing is the vehicle owner's responsibility leave the engine running for a while before driving find out whether you need to drain the system manually assume the system has automatic drain valves so mm, find out whether you need to drain the system manually okay when would you use an escape lane when carrying a dangerous cargo when your brakes have failed when emergency repairs are needed when motorway merge hmm. when your brakes have failed a lorry is overtaking you on a two lane motorway what should you do if it doesn't have the speed to get past be prepared to reduce your speed yes what does changing to a lower gear on a long downhill gradient help to avoid tire wear brake fade brake fade finish test so 71 percent correct let's see the wrong one you are driving an articulated lorry that has three airlines connected to the trailer what's the purpose of the road line it's the emergency line okay your vehicle has anti-lock brakes how does this affect you when you are braking normally there's no need to alter the way you brake your lorry is equipped with anti-lock brakes what's the correct procedure for stopping in an emergency apply the foot brake firmly and continuously until the vehicle has stopped okay your vehicle is fitted with air assisted hydraulic brakes what would warn you that there isn't enough air in the system a buzzer or light Mm -hmm. your vehicle is fitted with air brakes what does it mean if a brake warning light shows when you have just started the engine 
low air pressure what color is the auxiliary line on a three line picnic system blue what color band on the rev counter makes the best use of engine braking blue your lorry is stuck in snow you use the diff lock to move off when would when should you switch the diff lock off as soon as the vehicle is moving okay where must extra care be taken when using an endurance brake on slippery road what will pumping the brake pedal in a vehicle fitted with anti-lock brakes cause reduced effectiveness what's the principal braking system on a lorry called the service brake what should you do after driving through a flood drive in a low gear with the foot brake lightly applied When should an entrance brake be used on long downhill slopes? We are about to drive an unfamiliar vehicle. What should you do if you think there may be moisture in the air brake reservoir? Find out whether you need to drain the system manually. Okay, so that's it. All done. So exit. Hmm. Okay, so next topic is essential documents. Okay, so let's do this one. And they got 21 questions. Let's start. What's the current fine for each person illegally carried into the UK? Hmm. Up to 4,000 no up to two, 2000 okay the driver certificate of professional competence requires you to take training every five years how many hours of training must you take so 45 40 35 45 wrong 35 who is responsible for making sure that cargo arrives undamaged? The packer, the driver, the sender, the loader, the driver. A driver is convicted of bringing illegal immigrants into the UK. How is the fine calculated? For each court attendance they make, for each journey they made in the last year, for each person they bring in, for each family group they bring in. For each person they bring in. What condition could prevent you from holding a law or bus license? Partial blindness, dyslexia, dermatitis, stomach upset, partial blindness. Every five years you must complete further training to keep your driver certificate of professional competence. How many hours of training must you complete? over those five years 35 hours you will be driving your vehicle in europe which of these documents must you carry your national driving license your uh, the vehicle workshop manual your medical examination form the vehicle service report first one driving license you are found to be two and a half times over the legal drink drive limit and are disqualified from driving before regaining your license who will you have to satisfy that you don't have an alcohol problem the driver and vehicle licensing agency you have been convicted of a drink drive offense and banned from driving which ent ent entitlement will this ban affect Hmm. 
your car entitlement your entitlement to drive all motor vehicles your lorry entitlement mm, to drive all motor vehicles what's a stage stage a statutory off-road notifications so on information kept by the police or about the owner of the vehicle information held by insurance companies to check the vehicle is insured a notification to tell dvs that a vehicle doesn't have a current mot and we a notification to tell dvla that a vehicle isn't being used on the road you are applying for an lgv or pcv license for the first time what will your medical examination include uh numeracy test and eyesight test yes how many copies of the cmr consignment note are required four five three two two four you are returning to the uk and are about to board a ferry an immigration officer asks to see your documentation what must you show them immediately your vehicle registration document your operator documentation your driver's hours record your driving license your operator documentation okay How can vehicle operators help to prevent the carriage of illegal immigrants? Mm, by having effective mobile communications. By using an effective vehicle security system. By using vehicle tracking devices. By taking out liability insurance by having effective mobile communication vehicle security system for how long is a stage story off roads notification valid use until the vehicle is used on the road until the vehicle is taxed sold or scrapped until the vehicle is insured and amortized until the vehicle is repaired or modified okay until the vehicle is taxed sold or scrapped okay what's the maximum fine for driving without insurance 1000 unlimited 5500 unlimited you hold a full category c license what does this entitle you to do a trailer with more than one axle a trailer up to 750 kilogram yes you are delivering boxes of chilled food to a supermarket what specific training would you need eco safe driving procedures hygiene procedures hygiene you have been asked to drive a fully loaded patrol tanker back to the depot it has a maximum authorized mass of 10 ton what must you have before you can drive this vehicle a valid adr driver training certificate yes drivers can be fined for bringing illegal immigrants into the uk who else can be fined the vehicle hire the vehicle insurers the vehicle repair the vehicle manufacturer the vehicle hire you will need to take 35 hours of training to maintain your driver certificate of professional competence over what period must this be carried out five year three year ten year one year five years finish 76 percent correct okay let's see the wrong one what's the current fine for each person illegally carried into the uk 2000 the driver certificate of professional competence requires you to take training every five years how many hours of training must you take 35 hours how many copies of the cmr consignment note are required for 
You are returning to the UK and are about to board a ferry. An immigration officer asks to see your documentation. What must you show them immediately? Your operator documentation. For how long is the statutory off-road notification valid? Until the vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. Okay, so that's it. All done. Okay then. Thanks for watching. Bye.